welcome to Greywood Gardening. Well, it was a long and very snowy winter, and that is finally at an end. We're in the second half of April, and here at Greywood, that means we have the forsythia blooming, the daffodils, and the hyacinth. I'm here in the butterfly garden where I planted a whole bunch of bulbs last fall. Uh, I planted four good-sized patches of allium, and those are all coming up along the garden and doing great. I planted a handful of imperial fritillary uh, back there, which I've always wanted to grow, so I'm super excited that the deer haven't eaten it because I want to see what these things look like in person. Um, I planted a couple decent-sized patches of Iris reticulata, which is a good early uh, food source for pollinators. Turns out it's also a good early food source for deer. One of the patches is still uh, in bloom. The other patch has been mowed completely to the ground. Similarly, I planted a couple hundred Glory of the Snow bulbs. Um, one of those patches still has a couple flowers, but most of them have been completely devoured by the deer as well. And actually, speaking of the ravenous, aggressive deer we have at Greywood, there is something absolutely bonkers in the woods that I want to show you. Come on. So this is absolutely insane. These are my shiitake mushroom logs that I made last spring. Uh, I cut down a living oak, I cut it up, drilled holes in it, put these uh, these plugs of mushrooms spawn into it, and the, the idea is sometime this year, and for several years thereafter, I would get shiitake mushrooms growing out of them. Well, unfortunately, just a couple days after the snow melted, something came and stripped most of the bark off of these logs. In fact, it was like half of the logs had the bark stripped, and then a couple days later, the rest of these logs had the bark stripped. I assume it's deer, because we have voracious deer that eat just everything. Um, but there are a couple of the smallest ones here, maybe because they're inset, still have their bark, which is good because what I read is without the bark, the uh, mycelium will not survive because the bark helps to trap the moisture in. Um, so at least we'll have these little ones to sort of see if it works and we get our shiitake mushrooms and maybe next year we'll do it all over again from scratch and then have to cover this with some chicken wire. But this is super disappointing. This was a, a rough surprise here at the very beginning of the year. It's not the mighty Mississippi, not the sunshine in LA. It's not a snow-capped Rocky Mountain on a warm summer day. It's not the glow of a full moon shining in the night. There's nothing grand about a canyon that holds a candle to your sight. The most beauty that I've seen is you. All right, we are going to plant our first seeds of the season. Uh, I have prepared four of these beds I have topped off. I'm going to do them a little bit at a time because it's a bit of work. Uh, so four of these beds are topped off. We're planting a little bit in each of them. Uh, on this trellis, I'm planting shelling peas. On another trellis, as far away as I can get, I'm planting snow peas. Uh, we're going to plant some spinach. Uh, I think that's the lettuce bed, some spinach and arugula. And then we're going to get some dill seeds in the ground. So everything we're doing now is just direct sowing some seeds. Let me consult my map. There's no peas all right here. Oh, yep, I see that. So you've got a map with where the snow peas go? Yeah. There's no peas I planted all by myself because I love like them. All right, well this bed is eventually gonna have our Roma tomatoes and maybe one beefsteak tomato. And what I'm gonna do right now is plant carrots in between where the tomatoes will go and we should be harvesting those before the tomatoes are really big.
thought I knew what love was. I didn't have a clue. But now I see it clearly. It's you. Right, and the last chore we have for today is cutting back any dead growth that is left standing of the perennials in the veggie garden. For us, that means the spearmint, the peppermint, the oregano, and the asparagus. And with that, that is everything I have for you on this video. Next time, I think we might take a look at the seed starting layer and what we've got going on there. And it's probably about time for us to plant our potatoes because we're doing a lot more potatoes after the potato pot success last year. In fact, we got some potato bags that we're going to try out. All right. Well, until then, happy gardening.